So about a month ago, I made a film exploring all the old mill chimneys that are still standing in the town of Hebden Bridge, where I grew up and I still live now. Now I thought I'd found them all. I thought I'd found all of the remaining ones in Hebden and the surrounding areas. So I made that film, I put it out online, and I thought that was gonna be the end of the adventure. But how wrong I was. So I started to get a few comments on the YouTube video from people saying, I like your video, I love the chimneys, but you've actually missed the chimney here or you've missed one here. And a few of these chimneys, I actually figured out which ones they were and which ones I'd missed. There's one up in Old Town and on a drive over to Haworth, I saw it, I drove past it. It's a short stubby one again, just on the top of a, an old mill. Right, so here we are in Old Town. I brought my girlfriend along. She's as excited as me, as you can tell. And here is the chimney, the chimney in Old Town that we missed on top of the old mill, which again looks like it's been converted into flats. So there is the mill chimney in Old Town. And the rings on it, apparently they were replaced three years ago, a guy was just telling me, which hold the chimney together still. So yeah, apparently those rings that got replaced on it cost thousands as well, but it keeps it standing, which is obviously important. And then there's another one on the way to Todmorden. If you just walk from Hebden to Todmorden, along the canal, there's another one that's really big. And the person who told me about this one actually said that you can go inside it, or you could go inside it at one point. So I'm hopefully gonna check that one out today as well. And this is the chimney that is on the way to Todmorden. If you just walk on the canal, all the way from Hebden to Todmorden, you cannot miss this one. And you can get up to it, so we'll have a little look around it, a bit closer to it. Maybe you can get inside this one. I think maybe I'll be able to get inside this one. Yeah, so this chimney here, you can literally go inside and look up and see the speck of light at the top. It's full of leaves and other stuff that's fallen in it and probably a few birds' nests, but it is cool. Let's see if I can show you inside. Right, so here we are inside the chimney. That's the hole up at the top. Can you see me? Not really. So that was pretty sweet. A chimney that you could actually get inside. Someone told me about this chimney and they said you can go inside it, but I didn't believe them. I thought it'd be blocked up like most of them are. But no, this chimney you can go inside. Oh, that was great. Then someone put a comment on the video about a chimney that I missed in between chimneys number one and two in the video. Now the distance between those two isn't much. And in fact, I can see number one now and I can see number two, I'll try to get an angle of them. I was thinking, there's a chimney in between there and there. I'd, I'd have surely seen it. I couldn't have missed it. So I thought, right, I'm going to have to go and find that chimney. And he described the chimney as having a square bottom which rounds at the top. So I kind of knew what I was looking for. So there's chimney number one. And down there, chimney number two. So yeah, a few days after I'd made the first film and I got told about this other chimney, I came back to chimney number one. And I thought I'm going to walk towards chimney number two and hopefully find this chimney that's got a square base and rounds at the top. And then suddenly I saw a chimney in between chimney number one and two and it is right here. Now I'm no chimney snob and this is definitely a chimney but it's not the kind of chimney that I was expecting. It's quite modern, there's a lot of cement used, you can see. And it didn't go round at the top, it was square at the bottom, but it didn't go round at the top. But I thought this must be it, this must be the last remaining chimney. The one that I missed, it's in between chimney number one and two. And I thought, well, thank you to the people who put me onto this. And then I thought my adventure was over. But I tell you what, I couldn't stop thinking about these bloody chimneys. And something was telling me that I hadn't found the right one. And I go running a lot. So I was running all around that area, up into the woods, and around hoping I'd stumble across a chimney. But nothing, nothing came of it. So I thought that must have been the one. Ooh, a heron. How simple a life it must be to be a heron. Not on the treacherous hunt of chimneys like me. Here we are again. One chimney. Two chimney. Just in the distance. Three chimney. So last week, I was walking into Hebden. I'd just passed that big chimney, and I was walking towards the other ones, obviously still in awe of them. 
and I see something in the distance and I'm staring at it and it's camouflaged, it's totally reclaimed by nature but it looks to have a square bottom and a round top, now let me show you Now I'm not sure if you could see that very well but that is a chimney totally hidden, camouflaged into the background, just sticking up above those houses. So clearly I dropped whatever I was doing and I thought I've got to go explore that chimney. So I went to it and I'm going to show you it today. Square base, round top. I have walked this canal path thousands of times, more, nearly every day of my life I walk it. I can't comprehend how many times I've walked this path and not seen that chimney. Not seen it, didn't know it was there. Totally camouflaged. Whew, it was exciting seeing that. I found it, the last chimney. So here we are at the base of it. Yeah, right, mate. Got a lot of them, I know, yeah, yeah. Do you hear that man? Then he walked past me as I was looking up the chimney and he went, We've got a lot of them around here. Little does he know, I'm the chimney man. I've seen them all, or nearly. But look at this. How can I get closer to it? So there it is, a chimney with a square base going round at the top. And this chimney was doing its very best to not be found. It's completely taken back over by nature. Just stuff growing all around it, all up to the top, and behind it is just woodland. So it sits perfectly into its background, as if not wanting to be found. But I found it, it took some time, but I found it. But the issue was, it's not in between chimney number one and two. It's in between chimney number two and three. And the people online were saying it's in between chimney number one and two and giving me rough locations for it. So was this the final chimney? Or have I been duped once again? Let's just get another look from the top. But it fit the part square base going round at the top and maybe I thought the other people who told me about it I just put the directions a little bit wrong it's not too far away from chimney number one and two maybe they just thought this this was in a different area anyway I continued with my life I got on with it as much as I could as much as a man obsessed by chimneys can so here's where the story gets really exciting so the other day someone followed me on Instagram and I clicked on their profile and they had all these beautiful pictures of what looked like the area around here, around the Calder Valley. And then they posted a picture of a chimney with a square base going round at the top and it was beautiful. Now I'm talking really beautiful. The kind of chimney that I was uh, looking for, the kind of chimney that could be my final chimney. So there was a tag in the Instagram post as well that said Hebden Bridge. So I'm thinking, this has got to be the one, this has got to be the chimney. So I message him, I say, excuse me, do you mind me asking where that chimney is? And he messages me back and he says, it's where I told you about in the YouTube comment. So this guy is the guy that commented on my YouTube video saying, you've missed the chimney between number one and two. So now I'm thinking, this is it. It wasn't that first chimney that I went to today. And it wasn't that second one that's been reclaimed by nature. It does exist and it is somewhere. So I obviously said to this man, you've got to help me. I've been looking all over for it. I'm very intrigued and he sends me a map of where this chimney is. Now I don't care who you are or what you are motivated by in life. If someone gives you a treasure map with the precise pinpoint location of the very thing you've spent your last month looking for and thinking about, you drop what you are doing and you go find it. I think there's a special part of the human spirit that is reserved for and comes alive with treasure hunts. And I hope this isn't my last. So here we go. Let's go find the last chimney. I'm gonna have to get the map out again. It's somewhere around here, it's gotta be, right. Right, so the guy sent me some directions as well to go with the map. And he says, it starts right next to the big street sign to Hepmanstall. Ignore the first marked path on the right, that's the old coffin trail. You'll get to a bit where the path is partially collapsed and there's a big stone gatepost lying on the floor. <gasps> big stone gatepost lying on the floor. Now you can start heading up to the right and after around 100 meters you might be able to see it on the left. Oi! Here we go. Oh wow the excitement is real. 
the final chimney, the elusive chimney. So many hours thinking about this, so many runs through the woods. I came running this way, I literally came running this way, but I went up that way, and then another day I went down there, I went up the old coffin trail he must be talking about. Oh. Well, if we find it, it's gonna be a great day. If we don't, well, then the hunt continues. Oh, I found it. Oh, here we go. And look, I found it just up there, and here is the old flute as well. Look, there we go. The old flute, which will lead me directly to it if I just walk up there, going all the way down there to where the mill used to have been. Let's get, see if we can get a look in the flute. So I can't really tell if that's blocked off or not, but it looked like it was going up a little bit. My torch wasn't bright enough. No wonder I didn't find this one. It's so hard to see. It must be 15 meters away from me and I literally still can't see it through the trees. Look at it, the final chimney with a square base and a round top. Now this is the one they were talking about. There's no way it's not. Oh, we found it. Oh, that's so satisfying. Look at it, oh, it's a beauty. I honestly can't believe how close I got to it so many times. I walk past it literally just down there. It's so camouflaged, especially with these autumn leaves at the moment. Let's walk around it, let's see what we can see. Oh, can you go inside it? No. Oh, it's blocked off. It's blocked off by tree leaves. Look at this. This one may have to be my favorite one because it eluded me for so long. I have spent a month thinking about you, wondering where you are, trying to get to you, being deceived by your friends, and now I am here, and it was totally worth it. I think that might be the end of the adventure now. So what's funny is there's a road just down there, the main road, going from Todd to Hebden, and I live just over there, directly in line, in sight from this chimney. So now I know where it is, I'm gonna head down and I'm gonna see if you can see it from the road. See if it has been watching me and enjoying me struggle to find it. So if you ever wanna go for a fun adventure, come to Hebden Bridge, turn your phone off and just follow your eyes looking for the chimneys. I guarantee it'll be way more fun than you imagine and you'll get a few surprises along the way and maybe you'll end up staying for a month like it took me to find them all. A month long adventure. So I just wanna say a big thank you to Adrian who helped me find this chimney. It was down to you, I wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for you posting that picture on Instagram the other day and then giving me the map. Amazing, thank you. I'm on the road now and you can see it in the distance. Let me get a zoom up to it. So I don't think you could see on that video there, but you could just see the tip of it sticking out of the trees. But it's autumn at the moment, so maybe the leaves will fall more and then it will become more visible. But this past month, I'm sure you wouldn't have been able to see it. So I know there's more chimneys if you go Walsden Way and you head towards Halifax. But I think that's all of them in the Hebden Bridge and surrounding areas. I'd love for someone else to get in touch saying, you missed one here, but I think that is it. I know there's the one at Gibson Mill, but I'm gonna do a whole video on Hardcastle Crags. So I'll explore that there, the mill and the chimney. But yeah, I feel that was quite a fitting end finding that last one. So this month long game I've been playing of chimney hide and seek. So much fun.